Megan Karen and basically in this video I'm going to share with you the ways how to survive your civil engineering subjects. If you are interested then keep on watching. Many say civil engineering is hard. Marinig mo to sa friends mo, sa relative, cousin, kapit bahay that are not engineering too. What they say is true, not a matter of opinion but a matter of fact. Even if they haven't experienced engineering at all. But to those people get to study engineering, they realize nila na it is harder than they think. Okay, let's begin. Tip number one. Practice, practice, practice. If you think pag memorize mo yung solution ng problem na binigay ng prof nyo, e eh, papasa ka na. Hell no. Sorry, but no. Kailangan mong maintindihan yung principles and know the basics. The best way to do is practice solving problems as many as you can. The more problems you can solve, the more you understand the concept. Hi, Vesuvia Books! <laughs> Tip number two, figure out when you are the most productive. Are you a morning person or a night person? Find the best time that you think you can study productively. Ako kasi, kapag nag-aaral ako, nag start ako ng 1pm after kong kumain ng lunch. Ayun kasi yung pinaka-productive time to study for me. Hanggang gabi na yun. Natatapos ako mag-aaral around 11pm ng gabi. Lalo kapag major exam yung exam namin, pinaghahandaan ko to one week before the exam. Hindi naman continuous yung 1pm hanggang 11 ng gabi. Meron din akong pahinga for like 1 hour nap, then study again. So yon engineering pa mo. Number 3, there will always be better. Madaming makakarelate dito, lalong lalo na yung mga nag -e excel before. Those were the days. There will come a times na i-compare mo yung sarili mo sa iba. Bakit siya pumasa? Bakit ako pumagsak? If you are the smartest kid in high school, it doesn't always apply in engineering. Dito mo marirealize na may mas matalino pa pala sa'yo. Pero hindi ito ibig sabihin na bobo ka, mahina ka, at matalino sila. It doesn't stop there. Heart strong guys, laban si E. Four. You can't be lazy in engineering if you want to survive. In short, wag tayong tatamad-tamad. Babagsak tayo, guys. <laughs> Gawin mo yung mga homeworks, assignments mo ahead of time para hindi na sumabay sa iba pang mga schoolworks mo. Alala ko, nagsabay-sabay yung major exams, projects, and thesis. Sabay-sabay as in. Hindi ko alam anong uunahin ko. Tipong kaka-exam mo lang kanina, eh exam ka naman mamaya. Like what the? Yung wala kong time, umiyak muna. Kasi wala kang nasagot sa naunang exam. Kasi magre-review ka for the next exam. The feels. Eh yung gising ka for more than 24 hours para matapos mo yung isang project sa isang subject. Oh my God. Yung hindi na kayo natutulog literal. Kasi alam nyo, next day, isasubmit na yung project. Then, papasok kayo sa school na walang ligo kasi nga hindi kayo natulog. Walang tulog. What is tulog? Swear, nakakapangit ng engineering. Promise. Pero sobrang worth it pag natapos to. Number five, always pray. Always do this. It really helps. Pipray ako lagi before I sleep na alam ko may exam ako the next day and magpipray din ako during the exam. Yun. So, that's it guys. Ito mga sinabi ko is based on my experience. And ito rin yung mga talagang ginagawa ko pag nag-aaral ako. So, yun. Sana nakatulong ako sa mga kapwa si Iko din. And sa mga nagbabalak mag civil engineering din. So, yun. See you on my next video. Bye-bye!